So good morning. Uh, I'm Alan Steele, and uh, this is my building. So please be nice to it while you're here. Um, welcome to the building. We're delighted to have you here, and it's always a great pleasure to be able to see the future generation that's going to fix the messes that my generation created with all of our climate issues. The weather that we had this morning was indicative of what can happen when you get uncertain weather conditions created by climate change. To the extent that I understand, Manuel is going to change the name of the Sunworks Conference to the Rainworks Conference next year in the hope that it doesn't rain. The Javits Center is um, attempting to be as sustainable a building as we can be. Uh, all of our staff are focused on that as an issue. Uh, we have two of our staff here I want to particularly recognize, Isabel and Hannah. Uh, Isabel works in our energy management group and Hannah works on the farm. So the farm you see over there, all the things that grow there, the 15,000 to 20,000 pounds of vegetables we grow there every year, they come from Hannah. Thank you, Hannah. But we have a number of other things too. We have birds. We have 65 species of birds that have been seen on the roof of Javits. Last year it was 52. Another 13 species this year, which shows if you change the environment, you can change the way in which biodiversity comes back. We have um, five species of bats, uh, and we have about a million honeybees, um, which we collect the honey from and which we hand out in our kitchens and through our food programs. We also have two cats, Misty and Spooky, and we use them for rodent control. Rather than using pesticides, they stay in the loading docks and they dissuade rodents from being here. So we have all sorts of di diverse activities here and all sorts of diverse opportunities. The one opportunity that I think you may all be thinking about after the rain is what happens to all of that water? Well, all of that water is now sitting in a tank underneath you here, which is the equivalent of about 20 public swimming pools. That water is collected there and it's redistributed, used on the roof here for our purposes. So even though this building is 40 years old or almost 40 years old, there are things that you can do that can make a difference. And I know each and every one of you wants to make a difference. And so I encourage you to think small and then think big. Because if you think small, you can make changes at a very local level. But that leads to much bigger changes at a much bigger level. One of the things that Javits was involved in a few years ago was bird-friendly glass. All of the glass in this building is bird-friendly. Birds can see that that's not a reflective surface. They don't fly into it anymore. We used to be the biggest killer of birds in New York City. We would kill about 4,000 birds a year. We reduced our bird deaths by 95%. And now the city has passed legislation requiring all new buildings and all major retrofits to have bird-friendly glass for up to 75 feet. We didn't know that was going to happen. That was not in our plan. But it shows that if you do things, things will happen that you don't foresee, and they can all be beneficial. So with that, I know you want to get on with your program. Thank you again all for being here. And uh, I thank you now for what you're doing today. But I thank you more importantly for what you will do tomorrow. Thank you.